play this card. This card's so good, right? Like, Stormwind Champion is like the quintessential. Uther versus Uther. It's like it's like the OG of like this card is actually really good. It's just not as good as other ridiculously good cards, you know. It's like I'd rather have a seven mana legendary <laughs> or something than put Stormwind Champion in my deck. Like Stormwind Champion is actually super good. Like if you have like a board, it's so good. Like everything is buffed, and it's only a one one discount on your guy basically because it's only sorry, it's only one one cheaper. Than um, a war golem, and like everything is buffed. Like you could Sovereign champion if you have six guys on the board, it could be 12, 12 worth of value. That's insane, right? For just seven mana, but it's just like you're just not gonna get that value ever. And uh, yeah, it's just too slow. It's like it's like the old old you know argument for why you shouldn't have a card in your deck. I still only get Hunter, Priest, and Warlock to 60. How do you not have Warlock to 60? I like, Warlock is so good. If I swing my face into get down, I can still... Like, as soon as this and get down, I can still swing my face and get down, so... Or into this guy, I mean. If it's Avenge... Then... Like, I'm wondering if I can get away with not mustering this turn, because this is really good, too. I want to kill before it gets any bigger. Alright, this is Avenged, which means... It's actually okay, it's only a 5-3, and it gives me uh, health back. In most cases I can kill this turn, this next turn, yeah, almost almost every case. Like, even if he musters here, it doesn't matter. Can't concentrate, so I think I'm in a good spot here. Not very good at Handlock and don't like playing with Zoo. What? What's wrong with you? I love Handlock and Zoo. Those are the best. Those are the best. <sighs> yeah, I'm not actually that high on Hunter either, surprisingly. Even though like Hunter's one of the best decks, but I usually I only play Hunter in like tournaments. I play I play Hunter probably the same amount in tournaments as I have on ladder, honestly. It's because it's a good deck, but I just don't really like playing it. Oh my god, turns to hero power. So sad. So sad. The battle! The battle! The battle of justice! Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the heal, buddy. Zombie Chow and Mysterious Challenger deck. Interesting. Alright, so I'm probably going to play this, unfortunately. No, actually, well, it doesn't get, it doesn't buff off itself, does it? Hmm. Although two six is pretty good. If I have no other choice, I'll probably play this. Although I might, have, I mean, if, if he if he plays like a minion that I can kill, I'd probably just play this though, just because like I, it's really nice to get the uh, the buff on it. For just kidding. Looks like I'm playing the two six. Come on, dragon. Dang it. I mean, it's either play a 2 6 or. Don't play a 2 6. <laughs> Which is like, I think I'd rather just play the 2 6. Like, playing a 2 6 now is much better than playing a 3 6 later. I still haven't forgiven Hunter for what did the Shaman, which I lost play class in the beta. Um. I don't know. But what is this deck? How does he have secrets in this deck? I guess it's just like random. Uh. Let's just do this. Three health, four health. Either three health, four health, like a so two three and a three four, or a three two and a two five. Huh. Three two two mm. five or two three and 
four versus Paladin. Probably better do this, I think. Because it shoots silver. The shaman was actually pretty decent against, uh, I mean, mm. the early versions of shaman, the early versions of hunter, I should say, are, were, like, shaman was horrible against it, right? Because you make totems and they just get more unleashed targets, but once, uh, they, they nerfed, um, unleash, not unleash, they nerfed, once, they, once they nerfed buzzard, then, uh, it was actually fine. Who am I? None of your That's nice. Both this and this can kill this, so I'd rather just get the value off first. Maybe I should kill this actually. Reporting for duty. To the face. To the face. His consecrate. His consecrate was kill three one, kill one one, and her two three and a three three. It's like he must. He better. I, I was gonna say he must have had not had anything better to do. But I, the more proper thing to say is he better had not have anything better to do because that was horrible. Two man least two man and buzzer was it killed or was it two man and buzzer? Uh, no, it, it was always it was two man and buzzer. Then I got nerfed mm. to five. Um and unleash was four then two then three and like everyone <laughs> every single pro player was like why does it cost four make it cheaper and then when they made it two it's like why did you make it two it's too good make it three and then they finally made it three it's like every pro was like obvious nerf is obvious <laughs> it's like it was kind of funny He's gonna make this trade anyway, so no reason to, for me to trade into it. And if I did it beforehand, I might have killed my guys, which means I wouldn't be able to kill Dr. Boom, so this is probably the best way to go about it. Maybe it costs more than two, yeah. It's probably good for me if he consecrates here, it's like whatever. It's not going to do. What are these zombie chats? I don't understand. Reporting for duty. I bring life. I feel like I might as well use this now. Like this is probably better to discount a dragon later, maybe. What is this deck? This is 
so bizarre. None of your business. Well, that's it. Congratulations. Why are you attacking face? What are you doing? This this could have provided you value. Alright, I need to get something on the board. I can't I can't lay on hand though. No. I mean it's this is nice, but uh I need to I need to develop a board here because this is He's developed a pretty sizable board. Died so many times turn six Lyra. <laughs> I love how you're so scarred by it. Like six turn six Lyra plus unleash plus unleash doesn't even like make sense to me right now. It's like it was it was around for like a month at most. <laughs> so like it doesn't even make sense honestly. I'm like, what does it even mean turn six Lyra's move? Because I've just been so used to like because like when you're a pro player you have things ingrained in your mind, like how much things do, so. Really? Come on. How do you have how do you have that? You're dead. Alright, I'm probably just gonna have to consecrate here rather than uh rather than play Man, this is a decent card to pick up with it as well. No Venge. It wasn't competitive spirit. Maybe it's get down? Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. For justice. Get, get down. Get down! Weapon ready. Kill, kill, kill. There's certain situations where I would kill this, but I have one ones I can kill it, so it's fine. Uh, what is this deck that you're playing? He's gonna like fatigue. This is like the first time we're gonna see if a secret. A mysterious challenger deck fatigue, guys. Get ready. <laughs> what is your deck? It's so weird. Oh my god. Yeah, so here I'm gonna do this instead of just playing this guy. Reporting for the battle! The battle for justice. The battle. The battle. The first ever mysterious challenger deck that goes to Viti, guys. You're, we're witnessing it right now. He's already played Dr. Boom to Mysterious Challengers. Like, it's gonna be like. Really? You're gonna consecrate on three 1 1s? Okay. Shredder. Shredder is a normal thing. I, <laughs> I'll give him that. Shredder is a normal, perfectly normal thing. To have. I wield the power. If he has two quarter masters in this deck, with his mysterious challenger deck, I'm gonna be so. I'm gonna be. That's just gonna be so ridiculous, honestly. Like, I'm not gonna play around double quarter master in his mysterious challenger deck. Like, what are you doing with your life? You have two. Like, the thing is, the way you kill me, I'm the control, right? The way you kill me. Uh, with the Mysterious Challenger deck, like, it's not an aggro deck, I mentioned that before, but at the same time, it's kind of like a mid-range deck, it's kind of like a combo deck, right? Combo deck, you eventually have to kill your opponent. Um, you're not gonna, like, win fatigue with a combo deck, right? That's basically what it is, so, he needs to kill me at some point. Right? Which means that, like, I mean, I'm perfectly fine playing this control game and just, like, limiting this off by one by one. Um, and if you're playing, if you're playing Quartermaster, that, like, like, this just gives you value, it doesn't actually give you tempo. Sometimes it gives you tempo, but in only rare circumstances when you're already winning. I must move quickly. So why do I keep seeing Warriors running revenge this rank 13 thing? Um uh, no, it's Warrior control warriors definitely do run revenge. For 
justice. Okay, in this case, I will play around Quartermaster because that's literally the only thing that's going to kill me. This is one of the only, like, I'm I'm almost guaranteed to win this game if he doesn't have Quartermaster, or if he, well, like, the only way I would lose is if, if I left that up and he did have Quartermaster, so I'm just going to, like, let that go. Okay, he probably doesn't have Quartermaster, he would have played right now. Like, even, even for just two, he would have played it, so I, I can safely assume he doesn't have Quartermaster now. Probably just a from here. Like even if he kills this two or this Tyrion, it's like whatever. But yeah, revenge is an, uh, to go back to your uh, to your question. Stop with your face. Um, control warriors run revenge because if you run, like typically you're not going to be in a situation where um, the mana difference between whirlwind and revenge is going to be different. Like for instance, if you're playing Patron Warrior, then Revenge. Oh, I wanted to, I wanted to fatigue him. I wanted to be the first person to fatigue a mysterious Challenger Paladin. Oh, so sad. So sad. So sad. 